Okay, now we'll put on the the Z-axis anti-backlash nut mount. These are the two cross dowel holes, and these are the two holes it makes to on the ZY plate. And you can see that there's an oval shape here. It allows this piece to go back and forth to align itself to where the motor is going to be. And um, you'll also notice that the nut can go back and forth in this direction. So you can have the adjustability in this direction and adjustability in this direction. So you can get the nut and the lead screw perfectly um, vertical. So let's go ahead and put this in. It's going to be with uh, two one and a half inch screws and two cross dowels. All right, so don't screw those in too tight so you, you'll still be able to move it back and forth. Okay, now to hold the y-axis, the y-axis motor, we're going to be putting it right here, the y-axis motor, and these four screws are going to hold it on. So let's go ahead and insert these screws into these holes here, all four. Okay, now we're going to be putting on the nuts, one nut to hold it in place. And we're going to add another nut for a spacer. These are three inch screws. We're going to add another nut. Alright, so now we're going to put on the sprocket and we'll have two of these small ones. And then we'll take this piece and we'll slide it on. Then we'll take four of the 3 8 inch nut and thread it on the outside and go to where it's flush. Then bring this back as a spacer. Okay, now we're going to be putting on the chain mount. The chain mount um, takes the chain and it and it uses an eye bolt to wrap the chain around to make it stable. And the there's a couple ways of adjusting this. You have the um, the eye bolt is going to be here, and you can adjust it left and right. And this unit you can adjust up and down just in case there are different uh, types of idler. Uh, idler sprockets or different size idler sprockets, you can actually have a little bit of flexibility with that. We're gonna, we have three uh, locations for the screws and these are one and a half inch screws and we'll be using cross dowels on the, on the ends and it goes in this orientation. This is the high side, so you're gonna be using the longer one. Keep it loose while until you get the chain on so you know what, what level you really need to make this. Tighten it just a little bit more. We're going to do the same thing to the, the other side. This is a shorter piece. We'll be using the same length of screws, one and a half inch, quarter inch screws. 